us, um, especially as we move in this AI um, season, right? So um, welcome once again. My name is Akwan Emmanuel, and um, I want to appreciate, uh, like I rightly mentioned, uh, everyone joining in. So we'll just um, move quickly as possible today. Uh, I do hope that we'll just, you know, make make use of, um, I believe in the next uh, 30 minutes, we should be done. Okay, so today we are going to focus, basically, uh, let me just give a little recap on what we have done so far. Uh, we have understood, so far we have been able to understand what um, AI is. We've been able to understand um, the concept behind AI. And um, of course, we've also been able to understand um, the do's and don'ts, the ups and downs of AI. We've also been able to understand the two types of AIs that we have, a specific use case and general use case AI. Um, and then we've also been able to, um, you know, tell ourselves why we should use any of these AI tools. And um, so far, so good. We focused basically on. We focus basically on. Um, we focus basically on. We focus basically on um, AI teacher as a tool to support educators in the classroom. And um, of course, we are going to be um, doing so much around that. I want to stop sharing the screen and share it again. I think I'm not sharing it properly. I'll do that in the next ones. one, uh, 30 seconds. Let me quickly do that. Uh, stop sharing. Then I'll share it again. Uh, this time I'm going to share it properly. Okay. So today, like I rightly mentioned, we are going to focus basically on AI teacher. Uh, we are going to focus basically on um, uh, some of the tools. Uh, uh, we are going to focus on rather um, how we can basically use AI teacher to support um, students in our class that have special needs. Now, um, we need to understand, of course, with the, the basic reason why we designed AI teacher is to support every student in the class. Um, some of the byproducts or some of the other things, um, functionalities of AI teacher, some of the other things that it basically does is that it supports educators in reducing the number of hours they use in doing uh, what they're supposed to do some of the administrative tasks that they need to carry out on a day-to-day -day basis and so on and so forth but the major reason for ai teacher for us building ai teacher is to personalize learning for students is to support every student in the classroom is to give teachers the tools that they need to empower every student so that no student is left behind no matter what it is no matter their learning um, stage no matter um, their learning abilities no matter um, uh, how they learn, right? Teachers should have the proper tools to support every student, to help every student learn in the classroom. So that is the core of what AI teacher basically stands for. Okay, so there are many other added benefits like um, I rightly mentioned, teachers can now do things they usually do, take that usually take them hours to do in minutes, in seconds sometimes. So but of course, the major reason is so that students can be supported in the classroom. So today we are going to look at um, how we can use AI teacher to support students with special needs, right? Um, we have different kinds of um, special needs, um, uh, different categories of students on, in special needs, right? Um, from dyslexia to um, blind to deaf and all of these kind of students, how do we support them? Um, especially if you are a teacher that you are not trained to understand these needs. You know, I've seen this typically in the classroom where a teacher is struggling with a student to support the student. And then the teacher doesn't even know that the students have any special needs because in the face, on the face, you know, there's nothing showing that the student, you know, uh, has any problem that should warrant the teacher to go extra mile to teach that student, right? So it because some of the um, special needs, the the especially if a teacher is not well trained in that aspect, you might not be able to understand that this a AHD, this is um, dyslexia, this is this, this is that, might not be able to understand all of those things. So 
as a teacher, you should be able to have a tool that you should be able to, you know, go to, right, when you have any kind of challenge where you feel, no, this student, by now I expect this student should be able to do this, but he's not doing it. Then how, what do I do? What's the problem with this child? Is there a way I can support, further support this child? You know, so this also will help so many teachers in the education, in the um, government um, sector, those are teaching in the, uh, in the government sector, right? Uh, you know, you have like 100 students in the classroom and then, you know, sometimes you, these students just come to register. You are not even sure of what, you know, so this would help you to be able to de decipher whatever is going on with students and then be, it will also help you to know the proper approach in um, helping that particular student. So we are going to, and the tool is basically called special needs, um, uh, we call it um, special needs student intervention generator. Okay, so this would basically intervene where students are having, uh, where the teachers need the right tools to support students. So let's quickly um, look at what it can basically do for us. Um, let's go there. So I'm clicking on that. Okay. Uh, now, unlike other tools, basically, unlike other tools that we have, um, this tends to be very, um, uh, how will I put it now, technical. So um, we we'll have to, you know, go with it a step at a time, look at all of the details that are here. So this basically requires, or requires of, from us more details. It's like the one we did last week where we talked about the behavioral intervention tool where that also required us a whole lot of, um, there was a whole lot of questions around, okay, some of the questions that the AI asked us was, you know, technical questions that, of course, teachers should be able to have handy. So the same thing here, um, to support students that have a special, that might likely be having, um, you know, needs, special needs. Um, so we need to have some very important questions handy. So. First thing you do is after we've clicked on that special needs intervention generator, it brings us here. The next thing we do is to add the student name. So let's say the student is um, Emmanuel, right? And then the student age is, let's say, 15. Okay, describe the specific challenge the student is facing in the learning process. So, um, okay, I think I have an example here that says slow in reading, okay? And, um, uh, problem with calculations, right? In um, uh, in communication, let me use communication, right? Um, um, uh, you know, so whatever it is that you noticed in that student, right? Whatever challenge that the student is having, okay? Um, writing skills, right? Um, um, right, uh, bad writing, uh, okay, maybe bad writing, right? You can use that word, right? Teachers should be able to know what to put there. Like I rightly said from our last, um, this thing, even if you're not, um, just give, put the idea there, the AI would understand what exactly you're trying to say and would then churn out what uh, the right answer for you or the right thing that you're looking for. So what, are, what is the learning goals here? So I want this, I want to improve uh, the student reading skills, right? Um, uh, improve communication skills, improve um, communication uh, skills, right? Because we say if the student have, um, um, but it can't communicate properly, communication. Okay, so um, then I also want to improve, I think the last thing I put there was um, bad what? Bad writing, okay. Uh, improve writing skills, right? So improve writing skills. So this makes it a bit easier, right? So you, you, so you, you basically, all you just need to do is to, the problem that you can basically see with the student is what you put here. So you don't have to begin to rack your head what could be the challenge and all of that just put what you are seeing, that the student, the, the lapses with the student, you put that in there. Then of course, support resources. Um, would there be a specialized educator or is, or is there any assistive technology that you are using? I think we've done um, training on, trainings previously on assistive technologies to support students. 
that are struggling, right? So um, we are going to, be depending on what you, you want to do so or what you're basically doing, I think one of the things you are going to do here is you should be able to choose um, the two, right? Because we can have a specialized educator. We can also have an assistive technology there to support. So I'm going to use a um, specialized educator, right? And then indicate any preferred, preferred teaching method or strategy. Um, visual learning strategy, okay? So you, we all know the um, learning strategy that um, uh, we likely have with the students. So you can just put whichever one that I think is best. So describe the level of involvement and support from the student's parents. So this, how would the student be, how would the parent be supporting um, the student? So um, you can just put here that uh, um, Neil or okay, um, so, uh, monitoring from home. Okay, monitoring at home after school hours. School hours right okay so that that will be the level of support we get from the parent explain how the student progress will be monitored and assessed uh, that will be weekly weekly via um assessment um via uh, tests uh, so uh, let me just put that there, include any other specific um, information. So with these, we just go ahead to click generate. So it goes to do his work and um, it is going to be able to okay, understand, okay, this student, from what you have given to me, I think this and these and these are the issues, these and these are the things that I should focus on, these and these are the things that you should do. Uh, like I said, this will really come handy if you are a teacher in the classroom and then you have tons of students in the class that are not meeting up. You know they should be doing better than what they are doing. But, the, you know, the issue keeps, you know, you can't really trace what the problem is. For example, a child that is supposed to be writing is not writing yet. What could be the problem? Every other student, 80% of the students in the class are already writing. And then this child is not writing. He's not able to even hold the uh, pen or pencil. Uh, or they are doing calculation in the class. And then this child, everybody could actually do this simple math. Well, this child is struggling with that uh, part. So it could actually be a particular level of um, uh, um, special need or something that is happening in, you know, we call it dexlesia or there are some certain kinds of dexlesia that, uh, you know, um, will make a student not to be able to do calculations as are when everybody's doing that. So all of these things are things that we need to, you know, have a tool that will support us to be able to understand. So here you go. Um, so this is the intervention plan for Emmanuel, right? This is personalized for Emmanuel, right? So the student profile, special needs classification. Okay, so name, age, then special needs classification, challenges, low reading speed, communication difficulties, poor writing skills, right? Then the learning goals here, we have improved writing, reading skills, all of the things that we put there, enhanced communication skills, develop writing proficiency, right? Preferred teaching method, visual learning strategy, Okay, educational support, utilize specialized educator for one-on-one -on -one sessions, coordinate with schools, uh, special education department, family involvement, uh, active monitoring and support at home, engagement in daily reading and writing activities, progress monitoring, weekly progress assessment through test. Okay, so now this is the um, intervention plan. Okay, initial assessment, evaluate Emmanuel's current reading and writing communication skill, set measurable goals for each area of um, uh, area of improvement, intervention strategies, a reading improvement, daily visual reading exercise, using graphics, novels, and illustrated. So this will give you step-by-step -step approach to be able to support the student. You know, you don't really know, you're trying to, oh, how do I help the student? Here is something that could actually give you step-by-step -step approach. You go this way, you, you know, do this, you do that, right? Instead of you trying to, you know, uh, you know as teachers, we basically need that support. So the whole idea, like I rightly said, AI teacher is going to be that assistant for educators when you are basically not sure what, thing, what to do, how to go about it. Just come to AI teacher, look for any tools that could actually help you, you know, um, answer that question or solve that problem. Okay. Be communication skills and enhancement. Okay. You can see here, offer audio books to improve comprehension, comprehension and fluency. This is amazing. Introduce a structured and graded reading program that gradually increase difficulty. 
Okay, so you can see all of that there. Then we have communication skills enhancement, right? Launch a peer mentoring program involving role playing and social stories, right? Utilize video modeling to demonstrate appropriate communication behaviors, implement a social skills curriculum tailored for special needs for students. Okay, organize small group activities to practice conversational talks in control settings. So we also have here writing skills development, how to do that, then specialized um, educator support. Uh, what should the educator do? Uh, family participation. Uh, what are you going to do? Develop a share, a daily checklist at home reading and writing activities. Organize monthly workshops for parents to learn how to support in manual learning at home, right? Progress monitoring and support, you know, ongoing review and adjustment, environmental consideration, ensure that the manual has access to quiet and visually organized workspace, incorporate assistive technology as needed to supplement learning, celebrate milestones, you know, and so we have all of that here. So, um, so this, you can imagine an educator trying to support a student that basically have that need. With this, you can be able to, you know, know what the, what to do exactly to support any student in your class struggling at all. So what you do next is to download this, and then, you know, like I used to do, I like downloading all of these things. Um, they are very beautiful. So I'm going to save that uh, um, on my system. So as you can see, this is a personalized. Um, uh, planning system for a particular student. So you can do this for as many students, and you see it, it, it just took us um, just a few minutes. I'm not sure it was up to a minute. So just in a few minutes, you are able to get something that you can begin to use to support students in the classroom. Okay, so that's for um, special needs, um, for uh, special need uh, intervention, right? So we are going to. Um, uh, let's quickly look at just one more and then we round up. So let's quickly look at quiz generator. So we built in this to help us generate quick quiz, right? You want to give your student a quiz, uh, you know, and all of that. You should be able to do that from here. Okay, so you enter a topic or subject. So let's say we want to do any quiz around, um, uh, um, let me say, biology, right? Uh, uh okay let's let's use biology uh grade level let's say we are working on working with grade 11. okay uh, i think that's the proper grade um okay 11 12. yes grade 11 is fine and then um number of questions let's say we have so you want to all you done a particular topic and then you want to create a quiz for your student to basically answer so let's say we are we just finished um skin okay skin skin okay as a topic on the biology or let's say um digestive system let me use that okay okay so that's the topic we just treated today in the class so i want to have let's say 10 questions to quiz my student, um, multiple choice, true or false, or short answer. Let's see. Um, let's use true or false. True stroke false. Okay. So if you want it to be multiple choice, if you want it to be short answer, you just type. Excuse me. That in there. Enter difficulty level. Let's say I want it to be medium. Okay. Or let me say hard because these are senior students, right? Okay. And then. Um, uh, I go down, let the specific, list the specific learning objective the quiz should target. Um, so you can say uh, what was the specific learning objective to understand, uh, understand the um, concepts of digestive. Okay, so concepts. Okay, so um, describe whether you want an answer key included. Yes. Okay, so want an answer key included. Then you click on generate. So this is super exciting, especially. Ooh, oh, 
Okay, let's try that again. Not sure why that returned empty. Um, enter topic or subject to say digestive system. System. Okay, grade level. Grade 11. Um, number of questions we have. Let's say we have 10 questions. Okay, true or false. Or false. I don't know if that's my network. Maybe, just maybe. And um, difficulty level, hard. Um, uh, concepts of digestive system. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. So, um, this helps you to generate quiz so that your student can basically, you can basically, you know, quiz your student on any subject that um, you have taught them or whatever it is that you have, you know, um, taught in that particular class. Okay. So, we have it coming up now. Yes. So, you, as you can see now, we now have um, a quiz. Can you see that? This is for grade 11 digestive system quiz. Okay, so um, you're done with a particular topic in the class and you just want to quiz your student to see how they understood that topic. Just pull out your quiz generator and then type in the topic you taught them in that particular day, you know, the grade level, and then you ask it to help you, you know, do that. So we have question one, true or false? The majority of nutrient absorption occurs in the stomach. Uh, question two, which hormones stimulate the gallbladder to contract and release bile? Okay, question three, true or false? Uh, pepsinogen is an active enzyme that breaks down protein in the stomach. Uh, what is the function of heterokinase or enzyme produced by this? So this is super amazing for after each class, right? You should be able to quiz your student to get their knowledge. And then there you go, all the answer key, right? Okay, so, and this your answer key can serve as correction, okay? Um, so you can just give this to the students so that they can read. As you can see here, it's not giving you just the answer. It's now explaining in details why that the answer is that. So the pancreas indeed produce these three types of digestive enzymes. As you can see, it's going to, you know, um, uh, so let's see, number six answer is enz enzymatic digestive of proteins. The column's primary function do not include the enzymatic digestive of proteins. This occurs in the stomach and small intestine. As you can see, it's explaining um, each of the answer, right? Instead of just giving an answer, it explains what, why it chose that particular answer, okay? So this is super amazing for teachers. You are just done in the class, you know, instead of you trying to rack your head around, oh, how do I, okay, let's, let me just to have an idea of what your students understand. You can just pick up this and then create a quiz for them. Yes, so today we've looked at um, special needs intervention generator where we looked at how we can support students in the class that are struggling with any kind of um, whatever it is, or probably they are struggling with writing or they have a spe special need that requires attention, right? That um, requires special intervention from you as an educator. Um, you're an educator, probably you are not trained in that aspect, but you find a student in your class that basically is not at par with other students. The student is struggling. Other students are already writing. This particular one student at age five or six is not writing. Every other student can do simple calculations that you've been teaching, you know, and this student, so, uh, you know, the, the next thing that should, you know, teacher might likely do is just, just keep teaching, if you like, you know, and just try more. But with special needs intervention, you can basically put in all of those challenges that you see with that student, and it will generate you a proper plan on how you can help that student become better. So you don't need to, I know it's, if, you're, if you as a teacher, your space is not in the special needs, but you find yourself in a situation where there are students in your class that needs intervention, 
you can basically use that to to support um, those kind of students. And then we now looked at the quiz generator to generate quiz every time we basically um, finish any topic in the class, and then we want to quiz our student to understand if they to get to know what their knowledge is on that particular topic. You can just come here to create those quizzes, and then we download it, and then we use it to quiz our students. Um, so at this point, I want to say big um, thank you to everyone that joined in today. Uh, it was super, um, uh, um, I'm super excited to have you guys again today. Next week, we'll also be looking at, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Next week, we'll also be looking at another two or other tools. Um, like I said last week, we are working um, tirelessly. AI Teacher 2.0 is coming very soon. I believe but from next week, we'll begin to announce the date is going to come live. Um, what we should be looking out for, um, super amazing things I should be looking out for that even I myself I'm excited or on is um, we should be looking out for um, PowerPoint uh, generator where you'll be able to with from text you're able to generate a PowerPoint presentation for a, on any topic that will carry images and text and then you're able to project it to your student uh, we should also be looking out for um a uh, 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 video or audio or youtube link question generator so you have a, a video that is online and you want to generate questions for your student via that video just copy the link and put there and it to generate questions or you want to you have a video that you have created or an audio that you have created and you want to generate assessment you know uh, we are looking at having about added maybe around 12 to 13 about 12 13 or 15 other tools that will be adding to this already over 24 i believe that we have here um we are committed to making sure that teachers have the right tools and um to be able to use in the classroom so if there are any update that you think would, you would like to see anything that you like us to work on please do not hesitate to reach out to us uh one more time thank you guys thank you everyone for joining today uh, like i rightly said we'll try as much as we can going forward to make sure that this meeting is always 30 minutes when we go through all of this. Thank you, thank you so much for joining. Um, my name is remains up and Emmanuel. Uh, do have a wonderful weekend and God bless you all. I don't know, or before we go, is there any question, any question, anything that I've done here that um, probably you want to ask any questions about? Uh, I would like to take that shortly before we go. Any questions so far? okay so um in the absence of none i would say do have a wonderful week ahead god bless you all and bye-bye